Hi, this is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites, and today I'm going to show you how to create a new arrivals collection in Shopify. And the way we're going to do this is by adding tags to products, and by adding and removing tags from products, we can change those products in the new arrivals collection uh, out as we get new products. So we'll want to take the old products out, and we'll want to add the new products in. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a collection and we're going to make that collection based off of tags. And then what we're also going to do is I'm going to show you how to easily add and remove uh, tags from products in bulk. And then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to add that to the home page. So you can either connect it to a collection or a navigation menu, like on the top of the page. So we could have a navigation menu that says new arrivals, or we could have a button that says new arrivals, or we could have a collection right on your page that says new arrivals. So once we create this collection, it, we can automatically add and remove products from the collection. I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all, let's go to the um, admin in Shopify and let's take a look. And so when we go to products, we're going to just take a quick look at one of the products and explain what the tags are. So this is a product right now and you can see it's got tags down here on the lower right hand side. We've entered those tags when we created the product. So if I wanted to add another tag, I could add a, another tag, for instance, that this was an air filter. So we could have as many tags as we want, but I recommend using tags that you think are gonna be useful. And tags are also case sensitive, so you wanna make sure that you uh, duplicate uh, the tag that you want, like new arrivals, in a consistent manner. In other words, you use the same capitalization. I use camel case where I just uh, capitalize the first letter of each word. So I don't need the air filters tag, so I'm just going to leave that out. But any tags that you've added to the product will be right down below the tags here. So let's go ahead now that we know where the tags are and where you add them on products when you're creating them. Let's go ahead and look at what we want to do with the collection. So when you create a collection, we've got a new arrivals collection and you can see the condition that this is based off of is tags. So if we take a look at it and these are products that just arrived and then when we created it, we put a condition that is equal to new arrivals. So what I'm going to do with this uh, particular collection is I'm just going to delete the collection and start over so you can see how that we how we created it. So we're essentially going to um, create a collection. Let's delete this one. And we're going to create a collection from scratch here. And it's going to be new arrivals. And that's our description, new products that just arrived. And then we're always going to use automated, and this is going to allow us to add and remove products from this collection very easily. And the tag that we're going to use is new arrivals. So you see I've already created it, so I could just select it below or I could just type it in. So now all we need to do is save that and we have a collection for new arrivals. And you can see that my collection already added products automatically based off the, the conditions. Because these products already had the tag new arrivals, they were automatically added to this collection. So now I'm going to show you how to display this collection on the website. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to customize website and we're just going to take a look at, um, we're going to take a look at the customized section of your website. And this is where you can add a collection to your home page. And what I'm going to do is just delete this uh, collection from the home page so that you can see how this, this is a featured collection. And it can be named anything that you want, but I'll show you how to make it new arrival. So first thing we want to do is I'm just, I'm just going to remove it from my theme and then I'm going to add it back in so that you can see how this works. So we go to add section and the type of section that we're adding is 
and it's going to be Featured Collection. And now we have a Featured Collection right here. Uh, so we haven't uh, connected that Featured Collection yet. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we're going to connect it. So here's our heading right here, Featured Collection. First we're going to do, thing we're going to do is change this to New Arrivals. And that's just the title of the collection uh, we're for your featured collection. So now the next thing we're going to do is select the collection that we want. So we want it to be new arrivals. So if we look down, we see we have our new arrivals collection. And now it's been populated because we have these products that we've already tagged with new arrivals. So let's see how we can uh, change these products out. First, what we're going to do is let's uh, just move this up. I want this uh, featured collection to be higher on the page. So let's go ahead and take the little three dots right here and let's just move it up so that it's right below our main menu. So I mean our main banner. So now we have our new arrivals here. Let's see how we can change that collection out. So we're going to go back over to products and this is where I'm going to show you how we can add and remove tags from products. So if we go to products since we've already tagged these products with new arrivals, it's going to be easy to find them. Uh, so we go to tagged with and we go to new arrivals. And we see all of these products are tagged with new arrivals. So I can select these one at a time or I can select all of the products at once that are tagged new arrivals and I can remove those tags. So I'm going to remove tags. And now I'm just going to scroll down to new arrival. Here it is. Click that and click done. And now that tag has been removed from these three products. So if I go back over to my collection, I'm not going to have any. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look real quick and go back into the collection. Go customize. And now my featured collection doesn't have any products in it. So what am I going to do? I'm going to remove I'm going to remove and re-add some products into the new arrivals collection. So if I didn't have anything I wanted in new arrivals, I can simply hide this and not show the featured collection uh, since it doesn't have any products in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over and let's add some more products to new arrivals. So now I'm going to add, I'm just going to search for LG LT, Pro, LT uh, water filters that have recently come in. I'm going to select all of those and that's going to be my featured collection. So what I need to do is add tags to all of these products. So I have to make sure that they're all selected and then I'm going to add tags. So let's go ahead and add a tag for new arrivals. I can just scroll down and then there's my new arrival. Now it's been added to all three of those products. So if we go back over to online store and we go to customize, and we look at our featured collection. Here it is. All three of those products are now in new arrivals. If we want to connect this collection to other places, we could connect it to a button right here and we could change this to new arrivals for instance. So let's go ahead and look at how we would do that. And we could do the same thing with navigation menus. We could just co connect that collection to new arrivals. But let's look at the buttons on the banner. So if we click on the left hand side on the buttons we see here's the air filters buttons let's change one of these let's change the water filters to water filters new arrivals and that's where we could just add this let's go ahead and just change that to a collection that we're linking it to and then we scroll down and we look at our new arrivals collection and now when we click on when we click on this water filters new arrivals it goes to just those three button those three new arrivals 
uh, for water filters. So that's all there is to creating a new arrivals collection and connecting it, say for instance, to your homepage. And you can have more products than just three. Um, you can have as many products as you want in a new arrivals collection. It's best probably to keep it smaller so that your customers can focus. And I like to do something that's balanced like three or uh, six where you would have the same amount they're displaying uh, depending on uh, what type, type of screen uh, things are displaying on. And the last thing I'm going to show you how to do is to create a navigation menu up top uh, for new arrivals and just connect it to the collection. So it's very simple. We're just going to go back over to our admin and we're going to go to navigation and we'll go to the main menu and we would just add a menu right here. I'm going to get delete this one since we don't need it real quick and we're just going to add a new menu and it's going to be new arrivals and then we simply go to collections scroll down to new arrivals select it and add and then make sure we save the menu and let's go back over to customize our store and we'll just look at and we see new arrivals and when we click on that now we can see it just goes to the new arrivals collection hope this was helpful for you you can find more uh, tutorials by subscribing uh, also like this video if you found it helpful uh, you can find a whole um, playlist on tutorials for Shopify. Have a great day.